Blessings and welcome for the reasons that the trail life right here on the road. It's a wonderful day at the beautiful beach and um, we brought the whole family and it's just so awesome. And um, this offering we're going to talk to you about is about, um, you know, proper sexual education. Right sexual education. Modern culture has basically filled our minds with their own version of sexual reality. And there's a lot of young ladies and young men growing up with the wrong vision and version of sexual experience. A lot of it is forced upon them way too young before they're able to process the deep emotional connections and values in sexual experience. There's not enough education that is truly moral that is yet respecting of their nature and biochemistry. Young, healthy, well-fed individuals will lead on to a lots of hormones and strong, intense sexual urges and desires. Trying to suppress them will only cause them to explode like a canister are standing on a landmine. The right core values in sexual experience must be examined and must be taught. True copulation, true sexual harmony, and the sacred respect towards sexual experience must be taught. It's not just about a prevention of an STD or pregnancy. Sex is for procreation, and it also can be for the harmony and the healing and a, and a little bit recreational. But when sex becomes a tool designed by society, taught to your children, taught to all of us in a certain manner, we lose the true sacred value of the sexual experience. It should never come first in an experience. It should always be after there is some way of knowing who it is that you're going to be sharing the sexual experience with. And that presupposes some amount of knowing yourself before it is that you step forward into sharing yourself, your body, sexually. Body images are being affected by sexualized information because as a matter of fact, many people are more driven by how they appear or others appear or others think they appear. And that is how they draw to the word and to the notion of what attraction is. But attraction is far more natural, it's far more spiritual, it's far more sacred. It's not so psychological. That programming is taking control of people's mental space. Many young people are thinking that the way another person physically appears to them tantamount to value and a quality of relationship because maybe there's a quality of sexual experience but then there are some people who are spiritual who as they would say my nature does not take this woman or vice versa a woman saying my nature does not take to a certain man sexuality is more than just a physical act of penis and vagina it is more than just that emotional high it is a spiritual connection that souls intertwine that the elemental, the deep internal natures intertwine and as such identities are merged into each other. So when there's a violent or vehement kind of a disagreement within that physical environment, the sex doesn't really calm it. Actually, it makes it spread, it makes it intensify. It takes the, par the, the, the parodies from one soul to another. It's like taking the pathogens from one entity to another. It's more than STDs. How we are showing our children through emotional reactions in a sexual nature is essential then when you lock it away in a box and you keep it hidden from them and then you say at age 20 or 19 you begin to say to them well you know you'd like them to be well adjusted men and women when you have kept an essential part of the experience away from them some of us say socialization will show our, our kids how it is that truly healthy sexual and moral practices will come about but the fact is we don't do that we do not show by our behaviors towards our spouse in, in very special moments as a guideline and as a reference point to intimacy. Intimacy without the sexualization. Intimacy that is based upon a true affection and a true care. Hallelujah for the other individual. And if we were more socializing our children that way, and if we were more socializing in this manner, then it would have been much more appropriate for us now to be able to glean from all of this reality a sense of true moral sexual experience father we always say be strong you know you are as a man mothers we always say be beautiful you know you are as a woman right you know it is that you bring yourself together as a woman or it is you bring yourself together as a caregiver right these things are end result of the sexual experience nurturing those things within yourself would give more value add more worth to the sexual experience. It would actually add more fervor to the sexual experience if it is that those moral and deeply divine ingrained 
attitudes can grow within you as a woman, the fatherly attitude can grow within you as a man, then when there's a sexual exchange, the depth of the procreation, the quality of the sexual experience will be the value of the offspring, will be the love, the virtue of the offspring. Sexualized information, the over-sexualized information is overdone. Modern culture has taken a lot of people totally away from the center, totally away from the rooting of that sexual encounters in the greatest part bring forth children. And when you do not plan the end result properly, the experience loses its value and become this valueless commodity, almost an addiction to chase after, to race after, to covet, versus being a sacred and fulfilling act that is truly satisfying and soulful. Sometimes people seek after more sexual acts because, quite frankly, the sexual experiences that they're having are of no value, little or no value, because the soul is really are scarcely ever involved in these experiences. They are sensory driven, body driven, body image driven and materially driven. So a lot of it isn't really essentially soul oriented, soul driven and it's coming from the true understanding of that there's a magnetism, that there's an electromagnetism between minds, between bodies, between souls and the attraction thereof and, and the connection thereof. It is like a cosmic explosion of electrosensory perception, feeling, depths of emotion, moods, freedom, release, clarity. Hallelujah! It is deeply, spiritually, heavenly, sensational. Hallelujah! When it's had at the right level, there is nothing more sensitive. There's nothing more special. There's nothing more deeply satisfying and intense with the right spouse, with the right mate. When you found that woman as a man that sparks that genius in you, to alight your whole chakras, I would say it causes the whole circuit board, hallelujah, to light up. Ah, oh, what passion a single touch is. Oh, what deep sexual bliss the act is. When we are thus and such in tuned, we are such imbued with that clarity, with that value, with that depth of true sexual experience. We have to resonate and actuate from this point of view and build from this point of view as we go forward into ourselves, as we go forward into a fulfilling, lasting relationship, that the sexual act need not be constantly repetitive because in due season, the right timing, it is all so awesome and divinely magnificent that it is satisfying, lasting, fulfilling experience. It's just so divine. It is just so beautiful when we can find such alignment, such connection, such awesome attachments in the physical, in the emotional, in the spiritual. Start with the self. Start with truly learning about your mentality, your emotional nature into the sexual image of yourself. Bring it closer into clarity as you pervade your world and look at the physicality of the woman until it becomes the spirituality, until you can see her virtues and her value. And for those who look at the virtues and the value, look at the virtues and the values until it becomes the physicality and the attractiveness of the being. Women look deeply into the experience of the male. Women look deeply into the experience of the masculine and see how it is. There's joy in that true alignment. When you're not projecting your thoughts into a space, when you're not putting a bucket list of ideals and ideas for satisfaction when you're just present feeling being in tune with your own emotions being in tune with your own self and then this in tuned nature this in tune self will then align and connect more naturally to that soul satisfying man that you've been waiting for ladies it is 
so mystic it's beyond cognitive it is just reality it is just actuality and if you can be at peace enough if you can be in tuned enough if you can shape your emotions and your thinking enough to focus thus and see clearly the value the virtues in attractiveness in how you will want that in how you are that in how you're attracting that in how it is you beautiful soul entwined sexual experience that's of the highest level the highest virtue and the highest value it is so beautiful when man and woman come together in such hormonal physical spiritual cosmic hallelujah alignment here is towards encouraging the most purposeful healthy harmonious sexual activity sexual education in all that is harmonious moral natural and yes fulfilling hallelujah take your time get to know your mate know your spouse know the one of which your heart flutters your senses are drawn to know her ladies get to know him see the many dimensions the many angles the many avenues the many moods that truly generate the spark and the whole flame of attraction in the perfect law of sexual attraction and sexual harmony here is towards you finding your perfect mate in the perfect time for perfect law actualization procreation give thanks and blessings this has been jerome sage butler on the road reasoning on the value of proper healthy sexual education blessings remember that you're a beautiful gift unto your sexual partner in all that is harmonious in all that is godly and beautiful